Agenda is the perfect personal note-taking app. You can use it to keep track of your work projects or to keep notes about your hobbies, your family or other things around the house. For some of those notes it would be great if you could share them with others. For example with Drew if I'm working on the next agenda update or with my wife if we're planning for a family trip. In Agenda 16 this is now possible in a simple and secure way. Here's how it works. Like I said, while most of your notes are probably very personal, it would be great if you could share some of your notes with others and work together on them. And as I mentioned in my last video, Drew has been working in the past year really hard to make that possible. Ah, he's just sending me a message. It's about some kind of beach party. Let's see what's that all about. It looks like he's organizing some party for the launch of the Yak app. And he sent me this link to a shared note. Let's see what happens if I click it. So it opened the app and it offers me to add the note that Drew shared with me to my copy of Agenda. I can add the shared note to any of my projects or a new project. So let me pick this Jack app project that I already have. So here it is. Indeed Drew seems to be busy planning a party. As you can see the shared note is just like any other note. It can contain attachments, text colors, emojis, tags, what have you. Any change that Drew makes to this node is also automatically synced to my project. So if I add something to this node, Drew will see my changes. There are also things that don't sync between Drew and me. If I collapse the node, change the background color or place it on the agenda, these changes are not synced with Drew because they're specific to my library. So let me make some changes here that I think we should definitely not forget. Now Drew will see my changes. But what if he makes a change? You'll notice that when Drew makes some additional changes to this node, you'll see that his user bubble, as we call it, appears behind the node in the recently edited list. You'll see the same user bubbles also at the top of the list to indicate who is part of this node. If I click it, you'll see all the participants that are currently sharing this node. The order of the bubbles will immediately show you who edited this node last. See, if I make another change, I'll be the first bubble to show. And when later Drew makes another edit, again, this will be shown at the top of the node. Now it so happened that I already prepared a node with everything we need for our party. So let me also share that with Drew. Now if you want to share a note in Agenda, we don't ask you to pay a monthly fee or have a subscription of some kind, but you do need to have the premium features. And the good thing of that is you will also get all the other premium features of Agenda. And even the ones that will ship in the 12 months after your purchase. And after that, if you don't want to pay again, that's fine too. And you'll get to keep everything you have already, including the ability to share your notes. And also important, the people you invite don't need to have the premium features of Agenda. They can just use the free version if they want. Okay, let's go ahead and share this note. If I click the person button in the top right corner of this note, I can decide to share it with Drew. I can choose to either invite him with a link, like the one I received from him, or if I have already previously shared a note with Drew, all I have to do is select him in the list of known connections. Here. If I click done and now share the note, he will automatically receive an email with the link that he needs to join the note. Ah, look, he joined already. Great. Another thing you might have noticed is that you can also choose how you want to appear to the other people you share the note with. For different notes, you can choose different names. On some notes, I would just use the name Alex, while on others, I would be wanting to be more formal or use an entirely different nickname that this group knows me by. And if I want to add an additional person to the group, all I have to do is go to the participants list, hit the plus button and either have Agenda create a link for me that I'll send to the person myself, or if I've already worked with this person before, I can select the person from the list and Agenda will send the email for me. 
Now that's how you share a note in Agenda with other Agenda users and collaborate with them and edit the note together. But often when you do so, you have a lot of discussions around a project or a topic in the background, for instance through email or through messages. This year Apple released in their latest OS releases, iOS 16, iPadOS 16 and macOS 13, a new feature they call Shared With You, which is a neat way to have the discussions in messages be integrated with a shared note in Agenda. And let me show you how that works. I think the speech that Drew is planning to give probably needs a little bit more work. So let me put that in a separate note and share it again with Drew. But this time I'll use the share note and chat option. Now when I share a note you'll see that it offers the option to open the messages app. This is where I can now invite Drew to the note. But I can also use this chat to discuss the speech that he wants to give. Ah, I can also see him on the note in agenda. This feature is called Shared With You and it's available in the latest iOS and macOS releases. The great thing is that if I now go to the participant list, I can jump directly back to my chat in the Messages app, which is a great way to couple a discussion in the Messages app to the note you're working on together, keeping the discussion in the Messages app and the actual note content in Agenda. By default, this option will only be shown for messages that you have pinned. If you automatically want to show it for all your shared notes, you can enable this in the settings of messages. And the integration goes two ways. If Drew sends me another message about this speech, it's also easy to go back to Agenda, to the note. Finally, you'll also notice that in the top right corner of the Agenda window here, I have a new icon here resembling the messages text balloon, which gives a nice overview of all the notes that have a corresponding thread in the messages app. I can use it to either jump to the note or to the messages thread, depending on what I want to do. Now how does this work behind the scenes? When you decide to share a note, it's uploaded to our servers in a way that it can only be read by you and the people you invite. We also decided to keep things simple, which means that there's no admin or permissions or anything. Anybody you invite can read the content of the note and can change the note. The edits will then pass to everybody else who is on the same note. And when you decide to leave the collaboration, it means that you will always keep a copy of the note as it was at the moment you left. But it also means that the other people can continue the collaboration, can continue to change and you won't get those changes unless they will, of course, invite you back in. And when the last person leaves, the note will be removed from our server. So that's sharing in Agenda 16. And we're super excited to have finally been able to add this functionality to Agenda, making it not only a great tool for your personal note taking, but also great for working together with others on shared projects and shared ideas. We hope you like it as much as we do. Make sure to give it a try. You can download the Agenda 16 update from the app stores or from the, our websites. Beware that the shared with you function is only available in the app stores. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't allow us to ship that through our agenda website. But nevertheless, be sure to give it a try. Send us your feedback. We'd love to hear what you think. And we can't wait to see you in the next update video. Ah, I think Drew is already working on something. Bye bye.